Rejoice, budget gamers, because B660 motherboards are finally upon us, which means that you can get into Intel or Lake at an even lower price point. And with companies releasing all sorts of B660 motherboards, deciding which one to get can be a bit of a difficult choice. But don't worry, because I think Aurus may have just released the definitive one, the B660 Aurus Master. Okay, okay, maybe it's not the definitive one for many people if you want something even cheaper, but this costs just $200, and for it, you get a lot of features, even more than some budget Z690 boards. Starting off with PCIe expandability, it's about what you can expect for B660, with three full length 16x slots, though do keep in mind that only one of them is actually electrically 16x, the others aren't, and also three M.2 slots as well. And it's all laid out in a way that if you install any additional PC expansion cards, your graphics card, which is going to go in a top slot, is not going to suffocate. Now keep in mind that because this is B660, you aren't getting PC Gen 5, only Gen 4 Max. However, in a more budget build, you probably wouldn't be using that anyway. Especially seeing how right now, there aren't even any PC Gen 5 expansion cards you can get of any type. So unless you're scared you're going to suffer from FOMO by not having PC Gen 5 in the future, then you could totally stick with this motherboard and still have all the PCE expandability you could ever need. And CPU power wise, this thing is right up there with some good Z690 boards. Power delivery has been a pretty big strong point for Aeoros when it comes to budget Z690 boards, and Z690's little cousin B660 is no exception, because you're getting 16 plus 1 plus 1 power phases operating at 60 amps in a budget B660 board. Combined with both an 8-pin and a 4-pin CPU power connector, this thing could easily even drive a Cry 7 CPU if you really want it. And seeing how this is a master grade mode board from Aorus, the VRM cooling is also exceptional. So with all of that combined, you could really pair this mode board with a nice high-end Ord Lake CPU if you want to spend extra on your CPU and then also cheap out on your mode board. Now moving on to the rear I.O. And I do have to apologize to all you lovers of Spectre who loved how I always went after and attacked Gigabyte and Euros for only having a mere three audio jacks in the high-end Z690 boards. And sadly, I can't punish them for that anymore because, well, they fixed it. It's a shame I was uh, almost getting into it. Yep, that's right, you're getting the full range of six audio jacks, including optical spidiff, which isn't available in some more budget B660 gigabyte boards. So that's nice to see. Add to that 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, a USB Type-C, and the thing that Gigabyte always did well, and that is the quantity of USB Type-A, seeing how we have nine USB Type-A ports here which is still insane. Plus you get both HDMI and DisplayPort for integrated graphics, which is great because right about now, a lot of people are gonna be running on integrated graphics, seeing how GPUs are about still as scarce as my will to live whenever I log onto Twitter. Oh, and you also get Wi-Fi as standard on this board, which is also very lovely. So that is a lot of stuff you're getting, but the best part is that you're getting all of that for just $200 or so, yeah. This thing is really cheap with the features it has, and seeing how this comes in both DDR4 and DDR5 flavors, depending on which flavor you prefer, and whether or not you want to overpay for DDR5 on the scalper market right now. So this board really has it all, and if you want to buy it yourself, then our Amazon associate links to it are going to be up in the icons and down in the video description below. So if you use the links, you don't pay anything extra, while we get some money that goes straight back reinvested into the channel. And in fact, you don't even have to buy this board, you can literally buy anything on Amazon using that link and we get some money back. But if you want to help support the channel in other ways, then we also have a Patreon. And even just one singular dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks. I'd also love to thank my sitting patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, Common Gage Clothing, and Jesse Herberman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down here, you're also going to find our Discord server if you want to talk to me, or is that this or whatever else, really. If you have any more questions about this board or other boards, if you don't know what can parts by for your upcoming PC, just join us down there. It's awesome. Trust me, it's on a dead server, I promise. And then there's a social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's so I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in Winterbomb Mick next. Goodbye everyone. Good bye.